Let's talk about the Zomi Fit. So I just got done pumping. Here they are. Um, I am going to turn it on shortly just to give you an idea of the volume. What I want to do is just talk about the pros and the cons. If you read my review, you'll know that I'm not the biggest fan of these at the moment. And I'll share the reasons why, of course. Um, but I want to also add that I know that there's a lot of room for modification. And I hope one day to see that everything that I wish it was in the units to come but what disappoints me is you know a lot of us put our faith in these breast pumps you know you see something come to the market and you're like well if it's coming to the market and it's for sale it must be perfection it must work really well it must have everything dialed in and that truly is how i felt using or when i was when i had received the zomi fit i really did have all these high expectations especially coming off of the opera plus which is a phenomenal pump so i'm like wow they really have their stuff together it's going to be a great wearable i'm really excited and then to find out that it has a silicone flange it truly put a smile on my face i'm not lying but then i started using it and i was like oh no <laughs> this is not what i thought it was going to be and that reaction really does reflect in my review so as i've said in the as i said before in other chit chats my intention is never to destroy a company i don't want to ruin anybody i don't want to give anyone a bad name but that's i'm here to review i'm here to give you my honest feedback and if i loved everything and found the positive and everything then my reviews are going to be no different than anybody else i want i want to stay honest and i want to make sure that what I find as a pumping mom, because that's what I am, I'm not just putting it in and saying, oh, I think it feels good. I think I would express milk. No, I'm actively pumping and I'm actively giving you my feedback that I'm finding while using these units. So that's my goal here. I just want to stay honest and I just want you to hear it from me. Um, and, and if you trust my opinion, I, I hope that you're valuing my, what I have to say. Um, so let's start with the box itself. So easy easy nice presentation not a big deal you know what what's inside really matters it comes with a sizing tool manual extra brush extra parts and pieces one thing that zomi fit does that i have not seen yet in other companies which is really neat it comes with inserts so generally speaking you get your pump and you're either a 24 or a 27 or 28 how many times are you really a 27 or 28? Generally, we're sizing down. And they already were mindful of that. So we've got 21s and we've got 17s, which is really excellent. So you have to give them credit for that. The problem with these inserts is that there are these ridges that are molded into the silicone. And because of the ridge, it doesn't seat well into the 25 millimeter flange that's provided. And because it doesn't seat, I personally was losing suction um when using these it just didn't see it didn't suction well it didn't seat well i was like it's kind of hit or miss so as much as i like that they did this i thought that was really cool and just you know it was a good idea it, it, i'm glad they went down and not up um the largest flange you can get with this as far as i'm concerned at the moment is the 25 so um not a bad thing but the the, the inserts themselves just don't seat well so it's kind of it just fell a little short there. Um, now the pumps themselves. So the pumps, like I have stated already, they come with a silicone flange. That is awesome. I was really excited to see that because if you know anything about me, I love silicone flanges. I think they're excellent for elastic tissue. It really holds back on the breast tissue and allows just like nice free movement on the nipple without just like doing a slip and slide on the entire breast. Um, so that's where I find this to be most beneficial. Um, the assembly is really neat. I'm going to try to take this off without, there we go. Okay. So what's really cool. What I like a lot about this is that's it. The assembly has your duckbill, backflip protector, the whole flange arrangement with everything attached. And then you have the motor and then I'm going to set this down because this is my breast milk. I still have to feed it. I don't want to spill it. Um, you can see the ball bearings in the back. So what it does is it's going to slide in and then you can put your finger in the flange and listen, pop up and it pops up into the bearings and then the back foot protector seats right into the motor. It's an, oh, shoot, ooh, that was a close one. It's a really excellent design. Um, I love that 
it seats like it does. And I practice the fridge hack. So um, for myself, I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm getting really wild here. There we go. For myself, what I would do, and what I can do right now, is I would take this off, set it to the side, um, empty it, and then reassemble, and I can pop it right into the fridge. I don't have to worry about the motor. Everything is already assembled, and I don't have to worry about um, things like touching a bunch, you know, like, um, what am I trying to say? If it's like sitting in your fridge and you're worried about it getting exposed or touching anything, you can just pop this into a bag, you can pop it into a container, and it sits nice, nice and flat, and it works really well. So now, since we're already here, we might as well, I need to empty my bag. So, let me see if I can get this open. Or not my bag, I need to empty my cup into my bag. So this is a part that I have a real hard time with. And what I, okay, so I'm gonna take it apart and I'll show you what bothers me. So it just turns, it's a quarter turn right out, not a big deal, that's not my complaint. My complaint is pouring this bag, pouring this bottle into the bag. It's difficult for me because there's no guide. There's no guided pour. And it's such a shallow cup that if it's really full, I don't get that angle. I don't get that extra bottle to guide into something. I just kind of like do a Hail Mary. So this probably won't be so bad because my milk only filled up to two ounces. So I'm just gonna, ah, there we go. All right, so not that wasn't that bad, but if it's full, there every single time I lose a little bit because it's just it's not a most not the most convenient way to pour um, I don't want to like start naming other brands names but I'm sure everyone knows what I'm about to say the LV has a cap that goes on and there's a little spout on it that's where their duckbill sits and I'm not a huge fan of that design but I have to give it to them that it is a guided pour so that's a little easier um, just to work with. So now if I were to practice a fridge hack, I would just put it back on. Oopsie daisy. Well, don't do that. Quarter turn and then you're good to go. Uh, let me grab that. <clears throat> That's not really a big, I'm not going to wash this, so I don't really care, but, um, it does pop out easily enough if you do what I just did. Um, but there's no issues while using it. So now what I want to share next about this particular cup, which does have me bothered, um, with the combination of, I should really say. There's no sensor that turns this pump off. So if you're, let's just say if you're an overproducer and you're pumping five ounces or more into this cup, you're gonna have trouble. You are gonna overflow your cup. Excuse me. If you are pumping four and a half ounces to five ounces of breast, you can still very well have issues. And this is why, you know, this is a little over. Okay, this is a, a weak five ounces in a Medela cup, okay? Here's a five ounce for the free, or the, the fit. I'm gonna keep going, so close. So you can see that five ounces of water in this cup takes you right to the top. So I don't care if you're pumping less than five ounces, but just like teetering that, that volume you're potentially going to have issues because this is not it doesn't leave any room for ear a i a i r like there's no room and there's no room for error either so when pouring this you can see where i have i would have trouble okay so here's a bag here's five ounces okay and then this is what i'm referring to i I could be using a flange. I know you can like do a better job, but when you're driving, okay, if my husband's driving the car and I have to empty these, imagine all the prayers I'm saying while we're like on 294. So um, it is, it's just, it's not the most user friendly in my opinion. And then because it doesn't have a sensor to stop the pump, from turn from overflowing it just it really bothers me i'm it just upsets me um and i wish that that was something that was 
built into the pump before it went to market because even though not everyone needs it you know i've had friends that have told me like you know my lv's turn off at four ounces when it gets to the four ounce mark and it can go to five but it's like a nice indicator so it's a reminder the purpose of being mobile and pumping is to stay mobile and focused on your activity not looking down into your bra and if i'm staying active and i'm not you know, focusing on what's going on underneath my breast out of all places, you know, and like I'd have to really look in there to make sure. And then if I'm tilted, it's a false reading, right? Like I don't really know what I'm looking at. It's just, it takes away from the point of being mobile. And for me, I don't know. I just, I just don't really like it. It, it kind of bothers me. Uh, something that I think is worth noting that I realized I kind of neglected toward the end of my first recording, so I'm gonna pop this in here. Um, I wanna talk just quickly about the slope of the flange. I feel like my review is like nothing but bad news. And it, it really, it's not meant to be. It's just my honest opinion on how I feel that this pump has been executed, which in my opinion at the moment is not very, wasn't done very well. But what I can say, you can see that nice slope in the silicone flange of the Freemi Fit. Now, I don't typically do this. I don't like to bring in other competitors. I just hate that word. Um, I don't bring in other brands when I do reviews, but I think it's fair to do this because you see, you see one brand and then you see something come to market that's similar and everyone's like, oh, that's a knockoff of that bra, that pump, and that's a knockoff. When in fact, I mean, there's only so many ways to skin a cat and, I, I don't feel that it's a knockoff. I feel they like did their own thing here, but because that's such a common, you know, misconception here, I'm gonna bring in the LV. And I wanna share their flange. You can see, and I'm not a huge fan of this pump, um, and I can get into more of that at a different time, but you can see the slope of this is just like, it's obviously just plastic, it's not forgiving. And there's really no flange slope here. It's kind of just like, they're working with what they have. And because this is an older technology, I don't know, it's it's not well done because now, flash forward a few years, look at that. They did a great job on this flange. So kind of going back to what I'm trying to say is they just, they're missing it here. They don't have the flange slope. Um, it's more of like a flat rest on the breast. It doesn't actually like take the breast in like this guy does here. So if we're gonna talk flange, which it's only fair to do so, you can see that there's quite a difference. The angle of the way that light is hitting this kind of makes it hard to tell, but it's nothing like the fit. This one, I feel like with the, the light, it looks like a, a deep slope, but it's not. It's actually quite flat. So that's all, I just wanna to touch on the flanges and that is why also I feel that I respond so well to the uh, Zomi Fit is because my breast sits in there like a traditional flange would sit on a breast, which is excellent because that's my biggest complaint when you start talking about collection cups and people ask, well, why? what's wrong with collection cups? Why aren't they um, as effective at removing milk? And truly it comes down a lot to the slope of the flange and how it's sitting on your breast. And I have to give it to Zomi Fit. They really did a great job with this flange. And you can see because it's not plastic, it's silicone, you can really see the slope right into the 25 millimeter flange. All right, last thing I wanna talk about is just the modes and then the volume, and I think that really wraps it up for this pump. So there's going to be three modes. Um, what's nice, you can turn it on and then it pauses. So I do like this about their pumps. You turn them on and then either there's like a delay or there's just a, a complete pause. And when I'm ready and I toggle to the mode I want, I can hit power again and it turns on. So that's neat. You've got your expression. I'm sorry, you've got your massage, your expression, and your two-phase. I personally, I, I don't really care for either the um, massage or the two-phase, but that goes across the board for me. I don't really care which pump I'm using. I always just go to expression. I respond really well to expression, and I can pump an entire um, session on just that mode alone. So it is nice that they have three to choose from. Um, there's, It's pretty simple to use. There, it's a nice little display. Um, there you've got your expression, our expression. This is two phase is the drop and the waves. 
and then back to massage expression and then again Too Faced. Um, suction levels up or down, pretty basic. Um, the one thing now about this particular pump, it doesn't have any um, built-in mechanism to silence the pump. So, where are you at? I just turned it off. Then we go to expression. It's kind of loud and it is advertised as a silent pump. So for me, again, I'm a little disappointed in the advertising because this is not silent. It's not even quiet. And I know a lot of us, you know, a lot of us are professionals and you're, you know, you're working with clients, patients, you're a teacher, you're doing something where you, maybe you need to be on a Zoom call, you're on a phone call and, um, you you are trying to like muffle this noise as much as possible and this pump is not going to be doing you any of those favors so all i have to say to finish this up because i don't want anyone to think that i'm trying to like bury this pump into the ground because that's not my intention um i i think i like it i respond really well to it which is excellent until i'm getting too close to that five ounces or just over that five ounce that i'm spilling out because nothing turns the pump off um it is comfortable. I like the silicone. The inserts need a little bit of work. Um, I am genuinely looking forward to modifications because I think this pump in my, in my heart of hearts, I feel like it just was brought to market too soon. I think there's too many things that need an update or a revision. And that honestly upsets me too, because here we are like just trying to do our best, trying to express milk. You see something new on the market and you're putting your faith into it because you think that it's here. It must be great. When in fact, like it's here, we know it needs work, but it's here and it's not cheap. So I don't know. I, I'm sure I've upset somebody and I apologize. I just, that's my honest opinion. That's how I feel about it. And I'm looking forward to a better version it's not bad. Um, I don't think it's a waste of money, but I would be reluctant to uh, spend my own on it if I was being perfectly honest, which I am. And that's all I'm going to say about this. So that's all.